I'm Kevin Allred, mountain test rider for snowmobile.com, and I'm here on the Skidoo free ride. Uh, uh, not only is it a, a serious backcountry mountain riding sled, it's uh, they are targeting towards a person that would want to go out and do some cornice drops and a lot of jumping. And they've taken and looked at the suspension components all the way through. And so this sled is capable of taking some pretty serious drops. Uh, we've been out on this sled quite a bit and it is, uh, it's a blast to ride. It's, uh, it's stable, it, uh, it feels really good in the air, it just flies flat. The free ride light is expanded from a 154 only to add the 146 and the 137. The neat thing about the 137 is it's going to appeal to both eastern and western markets because the right track length right track paddle can be used in both areas for the guys that really are after that extreme riding style. For instance, we use the KYB Pro 40 shocks on the free ride snowmobiles. These guys take on some pretty severe bumps and stuff and they want to make sure they have a very competent shock absorber uh, on their snowmobiles. The KYB Pro 40 is top of the line for ski -Doo. It's a very, very high quality shock. Does everything you could ask for it. And also has adjustable compression damping and adjustable rebound damping on it. So very adjustable for your style of riding. So you move back and look at it a little bit more, you notice that the, the chassis has the bracing that we have on our race sled. This is the actual RS chassis. So it's got the wide footboards, the bracing that you have on our race snowmobiles. Really takes a lot of abuse and these guys do ride them hard typically so that's what we're after with this snowmobile. A very durable, very high quality, high performing product. If you look at the track here on this one, we've got the 2.25 inch track on this model here. It's available with the 2.25 or the 1.75, depending on how you want to use your snowmobile. Again, that's a choice in the spring when you buy your free ride. You also get a choice of the graphic kits. Right here we're showing was the Mean Clown one. So there's three graphic kits that you can choose from in the spring also. And take, keeping in mind what a free rider would want on a handlebar, we've got a low sleek design here. You'll notice that the controls are fairly low profile. They stay out of the way. These guys get very active on their snowmobiles. They don't want large uh, control modules in the way. So we've moved those down on the console down here where your hot hands heater is at. Uh, your desk cords move down here. So everything's down low out of your way. Again, it's a nice low profile. Allows a guy to get around on the snowmobile very easily. The free ride also comes with a, a quick disconnect sway bar. So you can ride it all the way up the trails, have very good control on the trails with great cornering. Yet when you get to where you're going to play in the, free, in, the, in the powder snow, disconnect this sway bar, put that piece in your pocket, ride it on the snow all day long, and you get back on the trail to go home, reconnect it and you got good trail performance all the way back down to the trailer. With the Freeride 137, what we're looking at is a snowmobile that appeals to more than one market. And again, it's going to be for a very, we'll call a high performance rider, a guy that tends to ride a little bit more aggressively. Uh, and it's built that way, delivering the right features so that, that guy has a, a snowmobile that works well for him in all situations. And once again, uh, rider opinion of this sled, it was uh, very positive. At, uh, like I say, the handling on it's very precise, and then yet you get back in the trees and the side healing and stuff, it, it works very good as well.